Okay, welcome to another lesson. This lesson is how to draw op art. I'm going to show you four different op art techniques they can use in your own art. Okay, today we're gonna I'm gonna take you through some practice drawings for op art to learn how to draw op art. Okay, the first step is to fold a piece of paper in half once. and then again twice, okay? And the reason for this is it will give us four boxes to practice some basic op art techniques, and then you'll have four boxes on the back to practice your own, um, your own op art designs, okay? So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put a dot in the middle. And then I'm going to connect to that dot with some lines. Okay, now this will get be our first basic op art design. And you can do two lines at the same time if you look what I'm doing. So we got hold on that first line and then go straight across to make that just to continue that line. As long as I'm on that dot, it should be alright. Okay? Then we're gonna use our compass. Do some circles, okay? So the first circle, do some small circles right there. I'm gonna hold my compass on that dot. So in the center of the compass right here is on that dot. I'm gonna go and do some several circles, starting small and then getting bigger as we come out, okay? Okay, so that's our basic op art design. Now, if you want to get a smaller circle in there, you can use these little ones here if you have a compass like mine. Do those ones. <clears throat> then, what we do is we're going to shade and checker this. Okay, so to checker, remember and go every other one, every other one, like so. Now this is practice, you don't have to spend a lot of time doing this, but just kind of get the feel for it. Stay inside the line, stay inside the, sh the shape we made, not breaking that line. Like so. All right, so I just uh, finished checkering this. And like I said, you don't have to spend a lot of time checkering it, this is practice. But what we, we wanna do is just make sure that you understand how the checkering process works. Because on the final copy, you don't want to be messing up when you're inking it with a pen or marker, because that's not gonna erase. So make sure you have a good understanding and a good feel for um, checkering a good process. Uh, so what I do is I kind of go kitty, kitty corner like this when I check her and then just make sure that I'm skipping every other one. I don't really commit till I know I'm for sure coloring the right one. Okay. All right. So for the next one, on this one again, I'm going to start with a dot in the middle. I'm going to do our lines. 
So I'm going to connect the dot. This one, instead of doing circles, what I'm going to do is triangles going towards it. So I'm going to go up, down, up, down, up, down. Oop. I'm trying to make these lines parallel here. And it doesn't have to be perfect because this one is a practice, but you still want to practice that so you get a good feel for it. Okay, see how that's working, guys? It's almost like a geometric spider web or something. Just let it come off the page if you don't see that line. Just kind of guess where that line would be there. Okay, so then, same thing as we did on the other one, we're gonna go ahead and check her this. Okay, I'll start wherever you like. I tend to start towards the middle, the beginning, and then work out. Whoa, losing my lead here. Okay, um, go ahead and check her this and then I'll get back to you, show you the results. Okay, so I'm just finishing uh, shading these up. And then we're gonna move on to the next one.
mess up here. That's okay. This one's practice. Okay. There we go. And then we're going to do a new one. So get yourself a new square. Okay, I'm gonna do a dot again in the middle. Go from the corner. To corner. Actually, I'm gonna move my dot wherever these overlap. All right, so that's my new dot, where those overlap right there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and mark every half inch. Oh, sorry, half centimeter. I am. I apologize. That is not inches. That is centimeters. Making sure I'm on the line. I'm gonna use these for guide points, and we'll see why in a sec. Make sure you do them the same way. So I held it here when I started, so I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna hold it here too on this line. Then I'm gonna go every half centimeter. Okay, so now what we do is we're gonna connect these like so. And then skip one. is not working there. Here we go. This one I'm gonna skip two. So one, two, go down. One, two, three, four.
redraw that line. Okay, so this one I skipped two, I skipped one, this one I skipped two, this one I skipped three, this one I skipped one, two, three, four, which put me in the fifth one there. And if you have, if you don't have a ruler of centimeters, you can use the every like quarter inch for guide point or however you want to set it up. I mean, you can measure it out, go quarter inch, then half inch, then three quarters inch. You wanted to okay and we will have another one down here. all right so then we're gonna checker this same way we checkered the other ones Kind of fix the lines as we go. So this one to be black here. All right, I'll stop there, finish checkering, and I'll get back to you. All right, just finishing this one up. On this one, it helps to come in with the ruler and clean up your lines, get them nice and dark and straight, so you can stand out. Okay, so the next one, we're gonna do a three-dimensional sphere that's checkered, okay? Similar to uh, the Victor Vassarelli I showed you. Okay, so to start, do your dot in the middle. You're gonna make yourself a circle. with your compass. And then I'm gonna do a vertical line on that dot, making sure I'm straight. Then I'm gonna do horizontal line. All right, so a compass like this is handy for this one. If you don't have one like mine, it's kind of kind of remember where you had the compass placed, so you know where to go back um, to the same size of circle. So to start, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my compass, put it down here on this part of the circle where this line's coming through. I'm gonna put my compass right on top of that, and I'm gonna go to I'm gonna kind of eyeball and see which one I want to start with here. Start with this one right here, right next to the two. So I'm gonna do a circle there, stop. Then I'm gonna go out to my three, do the same thing. Do a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. Okay, then what I do is I'm gonna switch this around, put my compass on this part here where the lines come through the circle here, then do the same lines. So I'm gonna go that one, then I'm gonna go to this one. Oops, that one right there. Okay, see how that's working? Then I'm gonna rotate it and repeat. Put my compass right here on this line where the circle's intersecting there. The line's intersecting the circle, however you wanna say it. Oops, that's not gonna work. And 
that line, then that line, then this line. And then I'm going to go to this side and repeat again. Okay, there we go guys. So now what we need to do is checker it. And then whatever you have in the background, you could incorporate some more spheres here. You could have some lines coming into it as well. You can some lines like that. And then you can checker it with one of our um, techniques you do the triangles here or you could do circles back there you could even do the squares that we practiced in the last one if you wanted to Alright, so I'm going to come in here, I'm going to check her starting in the middle. I'm working out, skipping every other one. All right, I'm gonna finish checkering this and I'll go back to it. And then uh, once you get done, go ahead and unfold it and see what you got. These are our four basic off art designs to get us going for the final design that we're gonna be working on next time. All right, thanks.